It's like throbby and achy and um, sometimes it's stabby. 14-year-old Hannah Miller is describing the mysterious pain on her side that's plagued her for more than a year. We've been through tests after test. Uh, we've done lab work repeatedly. Um, we've seen, um, we've done ultrasounds, um, CAT scans, x-rays. But no one could figure out what was causing her pain when she finally visited the complex pain medicine clinic at Children's National Medical Center. Doctors diagnosed Hannah as having chronic pain and suggested an unusual course of treatment. Go ahead and put your other hand on top. The treatment didn't involve drugs, just smelling scented oils, Reiki, and Tibetan singing bowls. It was better than any medication I could have given her at that time. It Dr. Really Sarah Elizabeth Rebstock is the clinic's medical director. She says alternative medicine is becoming mainstream as more and more studies back up their use. And while they don't always know exactly why these treatments work, Dr. Rebstock says they seem to help kids relax and that can spark healing. So if they think that this is part of play and relaxation and they're having things that are pleasant for them, they're also going to be in, feel like they can get better. So we just have to figure out which works for which patient. Registered nurse Marion McEvilly is the hospital's expert on these techniques. She's the one doctors call on when they've run out of treatment options. Her regimen includes aromatherapy, which is having young patients smell different oils depending on their problems. Also, Tibetan singing bowls, an ancient instrument that is supposed to shift energy. McEvilly says she's not sure how it helps, but it does. Okay. Hannah Miller says her pain is now diminished. It just makes me like calm down. And Hannah says relax. the pain is still there, but now um, it's tolerable. Both she and her mother believe she's finally on the right path toward healing. I hope it all goes away, and I hope she lives a normal life.